Staying warm by the screen side. Screen side. Hey everybody, welcome back. Yo, so we're gonna put on our underwear. I'm not huh. sure how we're gonna do that. <clears throat> after, after figuring out which side is front, you put on the Thermo Weave underwear. Yes. They power up automatically, Ooh. keeping you comfy at all temperatures. Sweet. Impressive that we did that over our other clothes. I know, I know. Press butt on. My, my, this is one hot planet. Why, well, thank you. I but you don't been. care, because you're beating the heat with Thermo Weave underwear. It's not all you can beat in that underwear. <laughs> Oh, that's right. D didn't we, like, shit ourselves? Uh, <laughs> At some point? Yeah, there was something that we did that, that caused us to, to crap ourselves. Because it, it, it even said mm -hmm. that we soiled ourselves. Um, I don't remember what, though. Oh, God. Oh, Whoa. Oh, oh, Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. It appears that parts of this planet's surface are not entirely stable. Now you tell us. Better be careful, or you'll end up in that lava fondue below. Lava fondue? Mm. Yeah, that sounds like a fondant. Sounds spicy. Oh, there's our ship. Let's take a look. Hello, see. ship. Ooh. Oh, here's another ship. Another ship. Let's see what's over here. It looks like a small ship. A science yes. team. Yeah. Great. Nerds. Ugh. Are they trilims? Are they going to try to take over our Greek council? Well, re remember, this is the 80s, so nerd rage is appropriate. Yeah. Nerds, what are we waiting for? We gotta, we're, we're waiting on they them. Gotta do something. Yeah, th they'll do something in a moment. We're just gonna have to play the waiting game with uh, them. There like we go. With every nerd, nerd. You hear the roar of the pirate scout ship taking off. The, the ship pirates? streaks across the sky to an unknown destination. Probably the pirate mothership, the uh, Trilam Fraternity House. <laughs> well, let's take a look at the telescope. Uh, Look in telescope. Oh, get a bit closer. We are real. There we go. Aha! Um, You've discovered the force beam generator, and that moon must be Pestulon. That is no moon. That's totally moon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I could be mistaken. <laughs> So basically... I'm not very the, the, good at this. The, I just go around and say that's not a thing. The pirates of Pestulon are, oddly enough, gasp on Pestulon. Uh, so l let's go ahead and get this pole thingy. That's no pole. It's all mine. And let's look at this box here. That's no box. Full of thermal detonators. Yoink. Uh, get detonator. You pick up one of the detonators. Be careful. You could blow your fingers off with that thing. Mmm. And hopefully much more. Sounds sexually dangerous. Yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, go towards that shield generator and see what havoc we can cause. Okay. All righty. Can we cause like a Majora's Mask situation where the moon is slowly on a collision course with the planet? I'm afraid not. Oh. But, uh... But it's a fun enough game. Yeah. I so mean, not... I don't think it's great, but it's fun enough. What, Majora's Mask? Yes. Oh, it's one of my favorite Zeldas. I think it's a great one. It, it, and it took me a while to get there. I didn't like it at first. Yeah. All right. So These uh, aliens sure like purple. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was the 80s. <laughs> and we only had 16 colors to work with. Wow. This whole game is done with 16 colors. Wow. Yeah. Not even 256. <laughs> Crawling, crawling. All right. So we're at the top of the shield generator. Be careful. It looks slippery. It does. No. Oh, no. Except for that one big step. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't trying to go that far. Uh, let's. Okay. I've been avoiding trying to use the mouse, but occasionally you have to. It looks like. Uh, drop detonator. Ooh, a cursor. The explosion disables the force field generator. You may now travel safely to Pestulon. Interesting. So, let's uh, climb, climb down. There oh, we go. Oh, I see. I had no idea that's what you meant. <laughs> oh. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here and get back to our ship. This is such a big place to do relatively little. I know. Unless we come back here. Uh oh. The detonator has apparently set off a chain reaction of earthquakes. You'd better get off this rock ASAP. Or 
it, that's the other thing. Either you do a lot to get there, or you get there and then need to run away really quickly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right, right now we we need to get back to our ship because uh, for some reason, if we reason, don't get back to our ship, we'll be deep in our shit. Base, well, deep in lava, but yes, and our burning shit then. Yes. Run, Raja, run. And you're only Raja because we didn't get the ability to name you this time. Yep. Yep. Otherwise, you'd be something far more humorous. I was going to... Oh. My, my. Things have certainly changed since you were here last. That unstable rock has fallen into the simmering lava be below. Unstable rock. Sounds like a genre of music. <laughs> Indeed. So we're going to use our pole that we grabbed earlier. <laughs> and uh, we're going to try <laughs> for this. This isn't easy Whoa! as it looks. <laughs> The Romanian judges give you a 9.5, a truly outstanding jump by one of the finest young athletes we've seen this season. You'd like to try that again, but your pole seems to have fallen into the tumultuous lava below. Oh, I'm sure we could have done better than 9.5. Yeah, that's but... only a bronze score. I'm trying to go for the gold. Well, and we were hurrying. And r r remember, you didn't win the silver or the bronze. You lost the gold. Ouch. <laughs> Just tell that to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> who didn't win the gold <laughs> and just see how they they weep <laughs> that's just terrible yeah and I mean fairly inaccurate too like there's nothing wrong being in the top three in the world of course not there's nothing wrong with it but damn I mean you might as well just bitch slap them for that I mean yeah what okay All the, no that's right that's not right. quite Oh, that's a McDonald. Uh -huh. uh, Mc. There we go. Pestilon. There it is. I thought it Uncharted had to be. it figures. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uncharted it figures. <clears throat> and I mean that thing was very close to the planet we were in, so it had to be one of the neighboring's cubes. Yep. All right, so we're there. <laughs> Yay! Since it's neighboring. Wait, that happened quick. A little too quick. Well, oh, God. All right. With a mighty wump, we set down the aluminum mallard on the surface of Pestulon. Sweet. Do we have to take our underwear off? Nope. We can leave that on, but we do have to put the belt on. Put on invisibility belt. Okay, the belt is on. All right, now we've got... Our you make your way through the forest of strange trees to this clearing where you discover the entrance of some large underground complex. complex this must what? be Scumsoft. Suddenly, the door to the complex begins to open. Complex series of tubes, I assume. Or hallways. Nah. <laughs> More several, hallways. <laughs> several guards file out of the entrance and disperse into the woods. They must have been alerted to your presence when you landed. Two guards remain behind to watch the entrance. So, uh, let's use the belt. I mean, I'm assuming they mean guard the entrance. Yes. Not just sit there and be like, huh, that's an interesting entrance. I wonder if this entrance is going to do anything. Let me... Wow! This thing really works! Uh, but there's only a bit of power left. So right. we need to get moving. Uh, Run. leave. I'm going to go to Scumsoft. Where to, buddy? <laughs> Never mind me. I'm just an apparition. Do, 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 do. Yep. I'm just here Woo. to haunt y'all. What's happening? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The power's gone on the belt. Well, it was short but sweet. Yep. Okay, so here's one of the weirdest perspectives in the game. Okay. Um, they, they really... Uh, hang on, I want to save here. Uh, uh, scum soft. Yay. Uh, so... He's scummy. Yeah, you, you walk down this hallway here. It's curving. Yep. Uh, but you don't have to curve, I think. No, we don't. Uh, oh, good. Uh, uh, come on. <laughs> we're, uh, it's very hard to navigate. Yeah. So let's look here. We're in a, a janitor's closet. Wow. What? They don't... They have one of those in every game, don't they? Uh, a lot of them. Not every, but... They should. Uh, search closet. Now Roger Wilco's in the closet. <laughs> now he's in the closet, yes. <laughs> Ooh, some coveralls. Excellent. Uh, wear coveralls. Over everything. Over the belt. What a great over the idea, Roger. Over the everything else. Exactly. <sighs> no one would be suspicious oh, of a janitor walking around. There you go. 
So, uh, let's see. Uh, seizing the opportunity moment to dump all the old items you've been pocketing along the way. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what a great sense. disguise. What's this? You reach down into the pocket and find... Well, what do you know? Mr. Garbage, a trash vaporizer. Hmm. You've seen all these babies in all the janitory supply catalogs, but your superiors were always too cheap to outfit you with one. Nice. So right now we've got the coveralls and the vaporizer. All right. Um, and oddly enough, we threw away our money. I don't get that why we didn't keep our yeah. money. I mean, of all things, like, you can get rid of everything else, but keep the money. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't understand. Ooh. There's a special thing on that door. Whoa. The, Where did it go? Like I said, this is kind of experimental, so it's kind of buggy. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. There we go. Uh, open door. The door won't open. Uh, open door. It's locked. Smash open door. Uh, look door. There's a key card security system, as well as a composite facial scanner. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so let's find out more about Scumsoft. Yes. Uh, and let's do it. Next time on Screen Side. Oh, okay. See you then. Bye.